Welcome to Newsbreak, the show covering everything happening around Charles County Public Schools. I'm Mai Kadani. We are promoting student success in this episode as we celebrate the accomplishments of a current student and a former one who used to sit in this chair. But before we get to that, it's time to meet a new champion. Pernicious. P-E-R-N-I-C-I-O-U-S. Congratulations to Craig Storm of Madawoman Middle School. The seventh grade student is the 2015 Charles County Spelling Bee Champion. Craig had to spell Mirup and Pernicious to take home the title of top speller on February 20th. This year's Spelling Bee went six rounds and lasted roughly two hours before Craig won the competition. The win is even sweeter for Mr. Storm because he finished in fourth place overall in last year's competition. We asked the county's best speller about what went through his mind when he was given the two words and what winning the spelling bee means to him. Mira, it was just, you know, another word. I mean, I'd studied it, I knew it from the packet, but pernicious, since it was the championship word, it was a big surprise for me because I was fully prepared to go up against a championship word that I didn't even know. But when I heard the championship word, it was like, for the first time in the whole bee, I knew I was going to win because I knew how to spell it. Craig will represent Charles County Public Schools in the National Scripps Spelling Bee in late May. Congratulations also goes out to Craig's other teammates as Madden Woman won the team competition in this year's Spelling Bee. Newsbreak would like to congratulate La Plata High School's Marty Margolis. The senior set a new Maryland State record for wins by a wrestler competing in a public school. Marty earned win 168 in the 138-pound final during the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Championships held in late February. The previous record, 167 wins, was previously held by a graduate from Southern High School in Garrett County. Marty also became the seventh wrestler in SMAC to win four wrestling championships. You can watch a story about this record-breaking wrestler by going to CCPS TV's video website. You can learn about the other goals Marty is trying to accomplish before graduation and why wrestling is a family affair. You can also watch other things like old episodes of Newsbreak, features seen in On Air, and special programs like this year's Spelling Bee. Any video can be viewed from a smartphone, tablet, or home computer, so check out the CCPS TV website today. Hello, I'm Michelle Honora, and you're watching Newsbreak 96 the show that keeps you up to date on everything that's going on in Charles County Public Schools. When Newsbreak first debuted in 2008, one of the show's first anchors was Michelle Honora. She graduated from Charles County Public Schools in 2009 and attended Barry Elementary, Madawoman Middle, and graduated from North Point High School. On February 13th, Michelle returned to her old middle school to talk to students about what she is doing now. Miss Honora has written several books, including Type N, a thriller that broke several of Amazon Kindle's bestseller lists. Her first book, Double Identity, was actually written in the hallways of Mad Woman when Michelle was 13. The school's media center was one of her first customers. Michelle spent the Friday visiting and talking with students about what it takes to be a writer. Michelle is someone with many interests, but the one thing she loves is being a storyteller. In between her speaking engagements, we sat down with one of the first Newsbreak anchors and asked her what advice she would give to students about pursuing their dreams. I think the main thing that I want students to know is that they need to be focused and they need to do it. Whatever it is that they have on their hearts to do, um, if they have the follow through and the commitment to do it, then they can achieve their goals and very few actually achieve it. And the few who achieve it are the ones who do something about it. Michelle writes and publishes books under her own company, MNO Media LLC, and is looking to expand her writing talents into screenwriting. It's time for News to Know, a segment that gives you the dates, times, places, and events that you need to know. That is why we call it News to Know. Schools will dismiss two hours early on March 19th and April 8th. Here are some future dates for the SAT and ACT. The SAT will be offered on March 14th. The ACT will be offered on April 18th. Students can find information on how to register for either test at their school's counseling office. In celebration of Youth Art Month, Charles County Public Schools will hold a reception on March 12th at the Jesse L. Starkey Administration Building. The reception will honor students for their creative and thought-provoking pieces of art on display inside the Starkey Building. 
The reception starts at 5 in the evening with the award ceremony beginning at 5.30. Come check it out! That would do it for this edition of Newsbreak. I'm Maya Kadani. Thanks for watching. Bye!